Hello, hello guys and welcome back to a new tutorial video on this channel. So let me show you how to use Aematic with Azure batch requests because the latest Aematic update adds support for batch requests also on Azure OpenAI API. So if you are not using the default OpenAI API but you are using Azure, you will be able to use the batch requests the AI batch request feature also in the plugin. So let me show you how to set this up because setup is a bit uh, tricky and this is why I am here to show you this step by step. So first of all, you need to set up your API key, Azure endpoint and everything. This is not covered in this tutorial video. I have another tutorial where I covered this. In this tutorial, I will be focusing only on the batch request part. So also I have here the GPT-40 mini deployment setup, but uh, this is uh, optional. Let me show you how to set up batch requests in the plugin. So first of all, we need to go and hover our mouse over any of these uh, Azure Modern deployment lists because we need to click on the services panel here because we need to create a new deployment for our batch requests. So go to our resource that we created previously and click on explore Azure AI Foundry portal. So this is where you will be able to manage deployments on Azure. So here you will have on the left side deployments, click it. And I already created a deployment GPT-40 mini batch with name and this is a, a specific global batch deployment type. So if you want to create a new deployment for this, click on mo uh, deploy model, deploy base model and here select the model that you want to deploy. For example, this model, the GPT-40 mini is really good. Click confirm. And very important, don't click deploy before you change the deployment type to global batch. So this is the most important part. You need to create a global batch deployment type. You can leave uh, the settings to their default values. If you don't want to change them, it's okay. Or you can mingle with them. This is also okay. So. All you need to do is set the global batch deployment type. This is very important. And the name, give it a name that you want deployment to, for example. And hit deploy. So now we are deploying our new GPT-40 mini batch requests model on uh, Azure. And if we wait here a couple of seconds, this model will be deployed. And here it is. If we go back to deployments, we can see its name. The state must be succeeded for it to work and the type must be global batch. Okay, so now we will need to create our batch file. So I created here already a custom batch file. We need to enter here a list of JSONs. So this is all JSON. Uh, each JSON needs to be on a new line. And these will define what our task will be and what our task will do. So we can define a list of tasks with IDs. So custom ID task 0, custom ID task 1 and so on. Method post, URL chat completions, these are predefined values. I will leave an example of this file in this video description. You will be able to download it. And model, very important that the model needs to be exactly the deployment name that we created in this previous step. So GPT-40 mini deployment 2 needs to be set here and here and here. And if you want to create more or less these of these JSON lines, you can do it. So system content, you are an AI assistant that helps people find information and role. When was Microsoft founded? When was first Xbox released? What is Alter Basic? 
Okay, now let's save this file and now we need to go back and we need to go to AI batch request. So keep in mind that you need to have the Azure configured. So be sure to save settings and be sure to check if you have API keys set to Azure and everything is correctly set up. Now we can go to AI batch requests and go to Okay, so it seems that my setup is not correctly done. Let me pause this video and uh, check my API keys because I don't have my API key set in correctly. A minute. Okay, so I'm back. I updated my API key for Azure because it was incorrectly set in the settings. And you saw that the plugin warned me that, hey, the API is not working, you need to fix it. And if I go now to AI batch request menu, the it will work. So we can now choose a file, upload the JSONL file that we created in our previous step. Don't forget to save it also and click upload to open AI. Afterwards, the file will be uploaded and listed here below and uh, the file will be this one from 20 of December batch 2 it's processed and we can create a batch request from it add new AI batch requests up set the JSON file that you wish to use be sure to get its ID from here because you will be seeing only the ID so we need the 20th of December JSON file which is ending in 267 so go to AI batch request add new AI batch request 267 file ID will be submitted for a batch request quick add and this is processing and you will see validating here for a period of time and after this is processed, pr validation and processing can take around uh, one to five minutes maybe. And after it is done, you can see details for it. So you can see I done here multiple completions, uh, requests for other batch completions. And we can see details here. We can download the input. We can download the output and even parse result for the output. And if we click parse output, you will see you are an AI assistant that helps people find information. Where, when was the first Xbox released? And this is the assistant answer. And we can go and check other answers also using these buttons. Don't forget you can also download the output using this button and you can parse it with other tools or manually. And if we refresh this, our, imp our initial input uh, file is still validating. I will not be waiting for this to be completed because it might take several minutes for it to complete. It might take even five or more minutes. Because of this, I showed you this previous example with details on how a a successfully completed batch job will look so you can parse output you can download input output and error file if there is one and keep in mind if you submit incorrect JSONL files they will generate an error file for you so let's refresh a final time and it is still validating because of this I close here the video this is how you will be able to use the AI batch requests feature of the plugin in the latest plugin update be sure to update the plugin to the latest version to benefit of this and you will be able to use also azure with the batch requests aimatic is linked in this video description go ahead guys and check it this is all for today like share subscribe it's really appreciated if you have ideas let me know in the comments of this video this is all have a nice day bye bye